Okay, so this video is going to be all about how to use the selection tool in Procreate. And I'm going to start off, I'm in the gallery view right now, and I'm just going to select a painting that I want to work on. So I'm going to go to my birds, and let's say I want to work on this painting right here. So there's a few different options for the selection tool and you can find the selection tool by just going on the top and it's this little thing that looks like a ribbon. And if you see down here, there's a few different options. There's automatic, freehand, rectangle, and ellipse. And we'll go through all of those. But for right now, let's start with the freehand option because this kind of gives you the most freedom in terms of what you're drawing. So when I'm about to begin my selection, the first thing I want to do is make sure that I'm on the correct layer that I want to select. So I'm going to go up to my layers menu and it looks like I am. I want to select this top sunflower right here. So I go to that layer, which is layer seven, and I want to select just this right sunflower right here. So I, again, make sure that I'm in the right layer. I just tap on the layers tab again to get back to my canvas. And now I can begin selecting that one sunflower right here. So to begin the selection process, I'm going to go over to my ribbon tool, just tap that and make sure that I'm in freehand. And down here, you'll see a list of options. You don't want to pay attention to anything except add, which means that you're adding a selection. So you want to make sure that it's on add and not remove. And you want to make sure you're not on color fill either. If you check that, that's just going to color your selection into whatever color you have on your, um, on your selected color at that moment. So we're going to untap color fill and we're just going to make sure that it's straight on add and from here I'm going to zoom in a little bit just so you can see sunflower is not that detailed but that's okay so I'm going to all I'm going to do is draw around the sunflower it doesn't have to be an exact shape but I'm just selecting what I want to move onto a new layer. And once you've made your selection, you can do a few things. You can either go down to this bottom menu and hit copy and paste. And what that's gonna do, if I go back to my layers tab, is that's going to create a new layer from that selection that I just made. The other thing that you can do is you'll have to go back to your original layer. You'll have to select again. So I'm just gonna draw around make my selection and then if I go up to the top right here right by my ribbon I'm just going to tap the arrow tool and what this is going to do is select everything that I just selected so it's going to show me what I selected and from here I can move it around I can drag it around and I'm just using my finger to drag it around and let's say I want to not keep this on the same layer. I want to move it to a different layer. So I just showed you how to do that um, quickly, but I'll show you how to do that kind of in the long term. So what I do is I take my three fingers and this might take you a while to figure out because it's not that easy. A lot of times it won't show up with the menu, but you just want to keep practicing. So you want to do it pretty quickly. So you're just going to take your three fingers and drag down really quickly. And this copy and paste menu will show up. What I can do if I want to move this copy and paste menu is I just tap on the middle of the copy and paste menu and I can just drag it around to wherever I want. So let's say I want to cut this sunflower and paste it on a different layer. So I'm just going to go over here where it says cut. I'm just going to hit cut. I'm going to go back to my layers tab. I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to drag down with my three fingers again and I'm going to hit 
paste over on the very far right. And so that's gonna paste that to that layer. So if I go back to my layers menu, if I unselect both of these, you can see that my original layer doesn't have that sunflower anymore because I cut it from the original drawing. But if I check these again, you can see that they were pasted on separate layers. The next thing that I wanna show you, if you go back to your ribbon, is the automatic tool. So the automatic is going to, it's almost like a smart selection tool um, where it will do all the work for you. It's a little harder to control, but I'll show you um, how you can do that. So let's say I want to only select this one sunflower. And again, I'm gonna go back to my layers tab, make sure that I'm in the right layer. It looks like I am. This is a sunflower layer tap on the layers tab again and I go back to my ribbon and make sure that I'm in automatic and that I'm in add and that there's no color fill on this. So if I want to only select this one sunflower, I can do it a number of ways. I can tap and that's going to select the sunflower but it looks like it didn't select the middle. So I can just tap the middle and it looks like that's all selected. So from here, I can go back down and say copy and paste, or I can do the three fingers, cut or copy, and then paste on another layer. So if you don't want to do that, there's another way that you can do it. So I'm still in automatic, I'm on add. You can just take your finger and drag with your finger and you'll see in the very top, it says selection threshold is increasing. So if I drag down, you can see that the selection threshold is a lot less. So this, this blue area that's showing up means that that's what I'm selecting. And the problem with Procreate is that you can't really go back and um, change it so you really need to kind of move this over so that you can move your finger a long way and let me just show you how to do it by using your finger so you're just touching this yellow area and i want the whole thing so i'm just dragging it as far as i can and it looks like i'll have to zoom out a little bit more so i'm just going to drag it pretty far and that looks that looks okay I'm just going to tap that little middle area and from here I can copy and, and paste that down here or I can use my three fingers, copy and paste it on another layer. I don't really prefer the automatic method just because you can see that it, it selected this left um, sunflower as well, but uh, I think the freehand is probably the best option for this. If you want to kind of remove an area of the selection, you can hit remove and you can just tap where you want it to be removed and that will remove it for you. So the next option that we're gonna go into, we're gonna tap on our, our ribbon again. We're gonna go down here and hit rectangle and this is pretty simple. It's going to create a selection in the form of a, um, not necessarily a rectangle, you can do a square, but it'll create that selection for you. And you can see when I tap my arrow tool, it just got everything within that, um, that square or rectangle for me. And from here, I can, um, distort this so you'll see on the very bottom it says freeform uniform distort or warp i can i usually want to stay on uniform because that keeps the object in ratio to itself if i go to freeform when i touch one of these sides it kind of warps it for me so i want to stay in uniform and from here you would drag down with your three fingers i'll just do that again for you copy go back up to your layers tab, create a new layer, drag down and paste on that layer. So you can see that the new layer now has that selection that I made from the rectangular tool. 
And then the last option I'll show you is the ellipse. It's pretty much the same thing, just in a rounder form. So you're just taking your finger and dragging, letting go. The problem I have with all of these selection tools is that you can't see what you've selected. The ants are gone, the ants marching are gone, and so you have to go up to your arrow tool to be able to see what you've selected. And from there you can move it, you can copy and paste it, cut and paste, whatever you wanna do. The next thing I wanna show you with the selection tool is color fill. And this is a lot of fun. Um, if I want to color something and I don't want to have to go through the process of creating a new layer or drawing over it, I can fill the color with whatever color I select up here. So let's say I want this sunflower to be a brighter yellow. So I'm just going to go... over here and create a really bright yellow. So I like that. So I'm just gonna tap back to my canvas and I want to make sure again that I'm on the correct layer. And from here I go to my ribbon or my selection tool. Make sure that I'm in automatic because that will do it for you. And then you're just gonna tap color fill, which is the little paint bucket dripping on the very bottom. So from here, what I like to do is drag. You can just tap, but it's not as precise as if you were to drag. So I'm just gonna hit clear over here to clear that. And I'm gonna start again, and I'm just going to drag really slowly. It looks like my selection threshold is really high. I'm just gonna clear that again, move that over a little bit. And I can drag it down to kind of reduce the selection threshold or drag it up to increase it. So I'm just going to drag it all the way down, maybe around here. So I like that color. If I'm done there, all I have to do is either, nope, not tap back to my canvas. I want to tap back to my layers and then tap again. And then that's completed it for me. So from here I can go in, maybe blend a little bit, but I've created a new color value on this one sunflower. The next thing that I'll show you is how to delete the background of a photo. So from here I'm going to go back to my gallery. I'm going to find something where I want to delete the background that is on one layer. So I'm just gonna go back here and I'm going to go to this picture, which is a painting by Bougereau. Um, and let's say I want to get rid of this blue sky. So I don't wanna see this blue sky anymore. Um, I want it to be transparent, which means that it'll be gone. And I'm just going to change the background color just so you guys can see it a little bit easier. So let's go to, I'm just gonna change the background color to this so that you can see when I delete the, the background sky that it's gonna show this blue in the background. Okay, so to do this, you want to make sure that this is on one layer, that it's on the layer that you want to delete the background from. So I'm go going to go to my selection tool, which is up here. And it looks like I'm still on color fill, so I just want to tap off of that. I'm on automatic. Um, in the case of, of getting rid of a background, it's a little bit easier to be on automatic than it is on freehand. So you're just going to take your finger and drag and it looks like it got some of her you can see in here it's getting some of her um, coat i don't want that i just want the background so i'm going to change the select selection threshold to around here where it's not getting her at all and you'll probably have to do this a few times so from here i want to remove this now, you might think that down here where it says remove, that's what it's going to do for you. 
but that's just removing a part of the selection. So I want to make sure that I'm on add and that I'm on nothing else down here. And once I have this selected, I'm going to take my three fingers again, drag down, and this is your copy and paste menu. And we're going to hit cut. So that cuts it out for me, which means that I can't see it anymore. It's gone and I'm, I don't have the background anymore. So to keep doing this, you're just gonna keep doing it until you get kind of what you want. So this looks pretty good. I'm gonna do it again, cut that. And then you kind of have all these stragglers here. So you can go back and cut some of these. And this is a really easy way to get rid of the background in your photos. Now, when you get to spots like this that are pretty small, you can either go back here and just do these little spots and cut them out, or you can use your eraser tool, which is what I prefer. So I'm just going to use my eraser tool in these areas, make sure it's pretty small. and just erase those little spots. So it's done most of the work for you. And from here, you can add artwork in on the layer under. So if I just create a new layer, drag it down, and let's say I want a sun behind her. So I'm going to maybe make it an orange sun. So now she has a sun behind her. And that's how you would remove the background on photos or on anything that you're working on. Okay, I hope this helped you guys. Um, there's a few other options with the selection tool. You can see uh, down here, there's invert, copy and paste, feather, save and load, colorful and clear. Clear is just gonna clear the whole selection board for you. Um, copy and paste, I already showed you. That's just gonna copy your selection and paste it on another layer. Feather, I can show you really quickly. So I'll just go back to her, go up to my selection tool. So if I select maybe just her shirt area and I want to not have it be as defined. So I want it to kind of be softer. I can go to feather and I can change the amount that I feather it. And it's gonna show you kind of what you um, are selecting, but it's in a more kind of uh, diffuse area. Save and load, you don't really have to worry about. Um, if you save and load, it, you can see that it'll have a list of different selections for you. Invert is going to invert everything except what you selected. Remove is going to remove um, something from your selection. And again, clear will just clear all of your selections.